every minute counts in a medical emergency, but a national EMS shortage is threatening the time it takes for an ambulance to get to you. Liza Lucas has been following this issue for us this morning. Good morning. The head of Georgia EMS Association tells me staffing challenges are a chronic problem happening across Georgia and across the country. So we've been following and checking in on the efforts of local companies to recruit using a pay to train program, and there are already signs of success. When the call comes in, Shia and Cherie are ready. Since April, the couple has been training with Central EMS Academy after catching 11 Alive story on the Pay to Train program. We pay you for your training, you get full range of benefits from day one. He saw the, the broadcast first. It didn't even take me long to ponder on. I was like, okay, you want to do it? And he was like, yeah. So we came, we both applied, and we've just yeah. been working our way through. Training for entry level EMR to paramedic can take up to two years and be costly. But paid training means no debt or time loss for students. It's better to work, you know, go to the class and get paid to do so as yeah. well. The idea seems to be working. Over the past few months, Central EMS Academy tripled its number of EMS certifications. We are still dealing with a shortage of workers, uh, but these classes have been a huge windfall uh, for our communities. And more crews are critical for faster response times and keeping the community safe. The more units that we have in service, the more units that are available, the quicker that we can respond. The work not done yet. Central EMS Academy is still recruiting, now offering hybrid night programs for flexibility and advanced training as well. We're trying to go, you know, as far as we can, all up to paramedics so that way we can be, you know, a help to our community. In Roswell, Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News.